Good morning and welcome to the morning after. We have a great show ahead, so stick around. Welcome to TMA. I'm Kelly Ledwith. And I'm Janessa. So welcome to the first episode of the semester of the morning after. How was your Yay. summer, Janessa? Mine was pretty good. There was a lot of um, relaxation. That's How good. Yeah, you need that after a few months of school. Definitely. School can get to you. Yeah. <laughs> How'd yours go? Anything exciting? Um, yeah, it was good. Um, I was busy. Just like worked and everything. So, But oh, got some beach time in, so that was good. <laughs> I needed to do that. Yeah. So, um, starting off with our first topic, have you seen um, a sheep that hasn't been shaved for what they think is maybe even five or six years? I have. I thought it was crazy. The poor little thing is like huge and like he just wobbles around. It was. Yeah. What did you think about um, it? Well, they shaved for 89 pounds of wool off of him and wow. they call him, I've seen him by two names. I've seen it by Chris and Shrek. So, like, depending like on which website you're on, but like. Big fan of the uh, the Shrek one. I want to know how he like was it because when you looked at him before he got shaved, mm -hmm. he was like couldn't see anything. I was like, how I know. did he make he was, it? Oh, he was such a nugget. He was just like a big ball of fur. I think they're saying that you can make like 300 sweaters or something. Yeah, from they were the going wall. for like a record or something. Yeah, he got him. some sort of record from it. it That's crazy. crazy. Oh my god, do you imagine just like you're driving by one day this like little massive sheep thing of wool just is, like at you oh my goodness I don't know the guy one of the guys who um found the sheep was like it was really easy to catch him because he couldn't see anything and I was like I still wouldn't want to touch him oh like, yeah he looked so dirty that's so scary because you don't know what's underneath that like you really oh. don't it was weird when they pulled the wool apart it was like crystal white but on top just like Aww. gray yeah so oh well we wish the best of that luck of best of luck to that sheep <laughs> Hopefully they in the shears. Time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you Definitely. imagine being called in to shear that sheep? You have to imagine how they probably broke a few of them getting all that wool off. Yeah. For well, sure. I, I guess they were like, um, I saw a tweet and some. There were the people that were rescuing were like calling all um, shears from in Australia. Oh my god. So they're like trying to find like the top shear, which I guess is like a big thing down there because like they have a lot of sheep to, <laughs> you know, to, to maintain them. They because right, they yeah. do it all the time, and I could like avoiding it for five years. Oh my goodness. That's, great. that's like not getting a haircut for five years. You go in, they're going to have to chop. Like, it's going to be a job. Yeah, that's exactly like not getting a haircut for five years. Like, I wouldn't know what to do. Oh, my God. It's the crazy. split ends must have been crazy on that. I know. Basically, like, if it was hair, oh, my goodness. Mm -mm. It wouldn't be good. Yeah, it'd be crazy. But I heard sheep are really sweet. So, like, maybe sharing him is easier than, like, you would think because they're supposed to be nice. Yeah, they do Apparently. seem like nice animals. They're like, oh, baby lambs. Like, that's really good. They're the term of endearment. <laughs> All right, so we're going to toss it over to Carrie, who is going to come at us with some entertainment news. Hey, it's Carrie here coming to you with the entertainment news. In case you were living under a rock for the past couple of weeks and did not get a chance to watch the VMAs, allow me to recap. As you may have seen from the insane commercials, Miley Cyrus's hosting of the VMAs was just what we expected. Crazy, raunchy, and outrageous. First, let's start with the fact that she had 11 different outfits that were, well, unique. Then, during one of her quick changes, Miley had a wardrobe malfunction and while on stage had a little nip slip. But one of the best moments of her hosting the show may have been when she did a closing performance on stage with several drag queens while basically promoting drugs. Although, I must say that that confetti and those funky eye outfits really made this year's VMAs one to remember. But while Miley's hosting wasn't the only exciting factor of the VMAs, when Nicki Minaj took the stage to accept the Best Hip Hop Video Award, she decided to call out Miley. Nicki asked, Miley, what's good? During the live show, putting Miley on the spot, into which she later responded on stage, it's no big deal, it's just an award. The dispute started when Miley did an interview responding to Nicki's comments on the VMA nominations. Miley stated, Nicki Minaj is not too kind. Well, I guess an onstage feud can always make an award show more interesting. And of course, it wouldn't be a good award show without a notable appearance from Kanye West. When he walked up on stage to accept the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award, Kanye made a lengthy, memorable speech. 
After talking about fatherhood and admitting that he smoked marijuana before attending the VMAs, Kanye ended his speech by stating that he, as we all should know, will be running for president in 2020. Well, can't wait to see how that will turn out. And in other news, the NFL has recently been in a huge debate with Sony for the upcoming film Concussion, starring Will Smith. This film is about the efforts that the NFL went through to conceal the knowledge of players suffering from serious head injuries. Although the NFL was initially against this film, the NFL is now looking to take the aspects of this film and embrace it by hosting discussions and meetings and player safety, about player safety. For any Will Smith or Alec Baldwin fans, Concussion will be in theaters on Christmas Day. All right, thanks, Carrie. So, did you watch the VMAs a couple weeks ago? I missed it, actually, but I saw all the highlights. So. All right. Well, did you see Taylor Swift's newest music video? I did. I Wildest watched it. Wildest Dreams. Yeah. So, there was a little bit of controversy that followed that. Did you see that? I don't think that's fair, though. Yeah. So, apparently, they're saying that she um, was glamorizing um, the colonialism mm -hmm. back in, like, the 1950s in Africa um, with her music video, which... I mean, like, I can see where people are, like, coming at with it, but I just... See, I'm a, I'm a Tay-Tay Swift fan. I know, me so, too, so... Like, she doesn't have a bad bone in her body, so, like, when people are, like, coming at her in all types of ways, I'm just, like... And it definitely wasn't intentional. It's not like she set yeah. out to, like... She's too sweet of a person yeah. to do that. And she put, um, all her proceeds are going towards... Yeah, I saw that. ...charity, so it's not like she's like, trying to... So she's really, like... That doesn't make sense. Like, I think sometimes people take little things and they'll make it huge. Yeah, definitely. In the people media. are always trying to find something to criticize mm -hmm. or just find some, some way to just hate on something. They always of have course. to find like the negative in it. Yeah, of course, with Taylor Swift, too. Because like, she's not your average like, Hollywood star. She doesn't mm -hmm. get too crazy. You don't hear her doing crazy things unless it's with yeah. an ex. So. Yeah, no, but that music video, I think it was incredible. She looked so good as a brunette. I thought she looked great. I was like, she reminded me of Lana Del Rey, actually. I was like, wow, that's a good look for yeah. her. Yeah, oh, it was so good. I not, loved it. Yeah, not everyone can pull off the bold lips and the I dark know. hair. It was great. And I, I had like I the whole really like nineteen fifth like Hollywood glamour I loved and everything. It. There I was loved a part it. where she had glasses on and like she just looked so Hollywood. I was like, I know. It reminded me of like the like singing in the rain era. Yes, like, oh, I loved it. I really did. The big dresses and all. Like, the other thing is like in the video, it was really a movie premiere too. Like if you watched mm -hmm. it, and like the main point was that she was she like messing around with her coat. Yeah. So it had nothing to do with. They weren't, I mean, yeah. there was like the lines and stuff in it. I just thought it was like, it was a very well done video and the director spoke out about it. Saying, he like tweeted a couple things saying like, he works with a lot of famous people, but he'd never want to be famous because how they, um, like all, all of the things they put up with. Oh yeah. Famous mm -hmm. people really have to have like a strong personality to be famous. Yeah. There's a lot of mean things said to people. And he like called people out for saying like, they're like, you know, glamorizing Africa. And he said, um, he like pointed out the two countries in Africa that they shot in. It wasn't just yeah. like Africa. It was, you know, the countries and everything like that. So, That's... yeah. But... So I thought it was well done. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but stick around because we have some great stuff coming up. Welcome to A Sheer Sensation, North Haven's premier cosmetology service, located at 140 Washington Avenue, minutes from Hamden. We offer an array of services, from basic cuts and colors to lash extensions and formaldehyde free keratin treatments. We also provide hair chalk and styling for men. When you spend $60, your cue card will get you 10% off. Call us at 203 239 6477 to make your next appointment at a sheer sensation. We are your source for entertainment news. Okay, welcome back. How, so, I'm wondering, how did you meet your best friend? Um, I met a lot of my best friends through like the involvement I am at school. So I met them a lot through like SPB and Q30. So like all my friends are usually just from like the organizations I'm in. How did you meet your best friend? Um, it was kindergarten, and apparently she fell on the playground, and I decided to help her, being the good person I am, and I apparently dragged her oh. across the playground to get help. All right. Well, Neliana went around actually and asked people how they met their best friends on campus. So let's check that out. As a freshman, it can sometimes be a little bit hard to make friends on campus. 
As you can see, there's a lot of people and a lot of possible friends. We decided to catch up with some Quinnipiac students and their friendship and see if there were any tips that they could give freshmen. How did you guys meet? We met in our junior year. Yeah, so last year. Yeah. In one of our classes. Um, <laughs> well, we're both OLs. We were yeah. we met in group process to become orientation leaders by complete coincidence. And then we ended up rooming together for orientation. So, so now we're, just we're incredibly kinda, close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're both political science majors. So uh, we met in our first policy class, which was Monday, and we became pretty good friends after that. What was the uh, thing that made you guys want to be friends? Well, I don't know. We were just both like awkwardly standing there waiting for group process, so our awkwardness came together. It really did. <laughs> and we talked to each other and we were like, oh, okay. Yeah, and then we just hit it off as soon as we became OLs. So we're like, you know what? I like you. I think it's just like similar interests. Like he seems like a laid back guy, like pretty like drama free, someone yeah. I can chill with. Yeah. I saw that Lucy was using the same. Uh, note-taking app on her iPad that I was using, so kind of did it for me. Any advice for freshmen who are just coming in and they are looking for friends? I would say just be yourself. Some of my best relationships have been a result of me just being incredibly weird and awkward, which is the person that I am. Literally, one of my best friends, I like our icebreaker was, oh my god, like you like limes in your Coke too? Just start talking to people who sit next to you. They may be friendly, they may not be, but... You know, you never know unless you try. You just gotta be open and talk to everybody because you never know who that person may be. Like, I didn't know this was gonna be one of my good friends coming into political science the first day on Monday, but now we're here today. It's like the fourth day in and good friends. As our orientation leaders say, let your freak flag fly, be, be yourself, and join a lot of clubs and activities. As you can see, there are a lot of ways to make new friends. Whether you're bonding over your love of curly fries or you're a fan of the same musicians, there's a way and a will to make new friends. Back to you guys. Well, thanks, Neliana. So, did you see the Dancing with the Stars cast was revealed? I did, I saw it. So, what are your thoughts? Okay, so, where should we start? Who should we start with? Oh, there's Question. so many people. We have Bindi Irwin. That was surprising to me, but I, I haven't. I like it though. I like that she's back, like, you know, doing yeah. something. She's only 17 though, so I'm like, this might be a lot of pressure for her. Yeah, so it'd be interesting to see how that goes. Gary Busey. I thought that was, I was like, okay. No, I love me some Gary Busey on reality TV. Like, that is going to be everything. Um, Nick Carter. I love it. I love it. I was Such like, a TV too. Like, as soon as I saw that, like, Nick Carter from Instinct, because I was like, He's, he's gonna win. He's gonna get pretty far. He's gonna, yeah, because he's like, he, he has the dancing back. The bye bye bye. Yeah. Oh, that'll take him real far. I hope he like. Works <laughs> I that really in wish they could work that into like one of the songs. Yeah. That would be great. Like the guy last year along. from um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air who did the yeah, dance. Yeah. See, they like should work it. It just makes it so much oh, better. Like, it's childhood it. memories. Um, Paula Dean. I want to see how far she's gonna get. I think yeah. it's nice that she's there, but. I know, I like to see Paula Dean back on TV. That's good. I know she had so she had a little bit of issues a few years ago, but Yeah, well she cleaning up her act. She's cleaning it up, so. so Andy Grammer, that's kind of a big name. I thought that was great. He's real like current. Right now he's like really big and like everyone loves Honey I'm Good. So Yeah, I know. I was a little surprised to see his name actually. You would think he'd have like yeah. a like a tour or something going on, but he's I guess right. dancing. <laughs> he's getting ready to dance. And then our favorite, Kim Zoliak. I love her. I love, I love Kim her. Zoliak. Oh, she's gonna be so entertaining. She's gonna be so she's gonna be so great. I, I just can't no wait to see clue. the outfits. Can't wait yes. to see the hair. Oh my god! I, whenever you put a Real Housewife on yeah, any of the stars, just anything like, oh god, because it um, was Nene Leaks on it a few years ago. Yeah, wasn't she? Yeah, I think so. So it's just and like whenever they, you know, they had they've had some beef in the past, but okay. I don't know. Just whenever they put someone who's like very familiar with reality shows and reality TV and how it how works, it works yes. I always feel like they always put on like. A very good. Oh yeah, Kim's even, gonna be interesting because you're not gonna know what she's gonna say. How? First of all, I don't even know if she can dance. Yeah. But this is gonna be very. I can't wait to see the footage her. of like the rehearsals and everything with you the nails. You know she's gonna say something crazy too. That's what? Oh, she's gonna so be crazy. Like my hair. I had to wear like this wig. It's my workout wig or something. Oh, she's great. And can't I can't wait. wait to hear like little family come out and support her. So yeah. I think that'll be really good. I think it's gonna be a good. It's season. It's gonna be a real good. It's season. definitely gonna be entertaining. They have a variety of people on 
this season, so. They do. They also have, um, from Spy Kids, they have that first couple there now. Oh, yeah, the first married couple to mm -hmm. participate. I thought that was pretty interesting, so they're going to pit, like, husband and wife yeah. against each other. It'll be and interesting to see how that, like, Let's see who's more goes. competitive, I guess. You know, see every, like, you know, see your husband or wife dancing with someone. Feel that, you know? Yeah. How I, that dynamic works out. I want, yeah, you're right. It's going to play out. Weird. <laughs> it might be a little weird. But I think it'll be good though. I'm very excited. I don't. I don't watch. Have I don't watch it all the time. But I think the season's really gonna. Definitely. Yeah. I agree. All right. So we're gonna toss real quick to the freshman questions package. Thanks, guys. Mike here. It's a new school year, and with over 1,900 new freshmen on campus, I decided to go around and ask if they had any questions about adjusting to college life. All right, Andrew. What question do you have about adjusting to college life? Um, one question I probably would have the most is um, just basically how to manage time in college. Um, one question would be what's like the best local places to eat. What are some questions that you would like to ask the upperclassmen? Um, what's there to do around Hamden? Now it's time for the upperclassmen to answer some of those questions. So what is a good way to manage time during college? Um, make a schedule, plan out what you have to do, like write down like all your homework and then just write down everything on the schedule. That's why I do it and it works for me. So what are some places to eat around here? Well, um, one of my favorites is Eli's on Whitney. I think that's probably one of the best places you can go. You can get pretty much anything, pasta, burger, sandwiches. Also a huge fan of Ray and Mike's. You can't go wrong with anything on that menu. All right, so what are some fun things to do around here? For me personally, it's all about the sports. I mean, we have a lot of great D1 sporting events. You know, we have an upcoming student section. I'm pretty, I believe it's called the Q Crew up and coming. So I'm really excited to hear about that. Um, outside of campus, I'd probably say go take the shuttle into New Haven, kind of explore a bit. You got toads, of course. Great, now that some of those questions have been solved, now we can have an awesome school year. Be sure to get involved. Back to you guys. Thanks, Mike. All right, so did you see that? I don't know why we're all not talking about this and why this is not like headlines somewhere, but Miley Cyrus has new free albums out. I mean, it's great that she wants to do a free album, but she <laughs> she dropped it on the VMAs, just like boom, boom. Beyonce style, but a little yeah. less dramatic because it's, like, it's not Beyonce. Yeah, Miley, you're not Beyonce, but I appreciate that you. you yeah, know, that's I mean, it's free though. Maybe. So Miley, it's on. Um, they're titled Miley Cyrus and the Dead Pets. It's a 23-song project. Let's talk about that name for a second. And the Dead Pets with a Z. Why <sighs> Miley? Oh, I feel bad for her though, cause like, girl, she's crazy. Honestly, like I saw highlights of the VMAs and. She just, she took it to a whole nother level. Oh, I don't know if like made the insane. decision to make her host it, but it was smart, but at the same time, I didn't, it was so risky. I didn't love the host thing, gonna be honest. I thought it no. was a little little forced at times, because she, you know, tried to make a joke. Cool. Obviously, she was reading it off something. Yeah. I just, I don't know. Not even just her hosting, but the outfit she wore. Mm -hmm. At one point, she had, like, the only things that were covered were, like, here, and that was it. Yeah, I think she, she was. I think she was doing a lot of it for the attention. Oh, most and definitely. And I just, I don't know, it just wasn't... Wasn't the kind of, I don't know, not the she show also, I was into. I don't know if you heard, she, my, Carrie actually probably mentioned it, that uh, she had a Janet Jackson moment. And oh, like, yeah, she had but, a little wardrobe malfunction. Yeah, but it wasn't even like by accident. It was more, sh they were like, yeah, you have they a few seconds, we can, um, we can wait for you to get changed. Miley said, no, do it while I'm changing. Miley, you were crazy. Girl. But I don't know, I'm excited to see how the new albums take off. Yeah. Because, I mean, Never I forget haven't. when YouTube popped up on our phones with that free album. That free album. So yeah. at least it's not like we woke up one morning and Miley Cyrus was like sitting there. You're right. It was more of a. I'm interested. I haven't heard any of her songs off of it, but I'm interested to like. I want to look into it because. Yeah. She does have a great voice. You have to give it. Yeah, to her, she does. You know? She can sing. So yes. I'll give her that. It's just what she does with it a little bit. It's just <laughs> it's a little much at times. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand why we had to kill off Hannah Montana. But. <laughs> <laughs> I just never. That's how she made herself, Miley Cyrus. Right. It's through Hannah Montana. Such Why do we have to hate long, on it? Such a beautiful hair. And now it's just nobody's perfect, Miley. Never forget. <laughs> never forget. Oh, childhood memories, Hannah Montana. Oh, Hannah Montana was Such, everything. I still listen to Hannah Montana, so whatever. Such a difference. Like it's weird how stars like progress. Like yeah, they start with at one point, and then it's just one eighty. It's just very know. like frustrating when you see like how they start. Like she started with Hannah Montana, and that's yeah. how she got her big break. And then for her nowadays to be like, oh, I hate my Hannah Montana. She's dead. It's just kind of frustrating. It's like, yeah. girl, you wouldn't be where you are if it wasn't for you that always have show, to, the mm -hmm. music. You definitely have to appreciate where you start. Stay humble. Yes. But always stay humble, key. Miley. <laughs> but I mean, then again, she has so much money, she can just. I know. I think away. she's just. 
I'm hoping it's a phase, because, like, I'm not seeing yeah. this at 40, you know? <laughs> no, can you imagine Miley at 40? I'm afraid. Her entourage of, like, dressed-up animals oh behind her. That's insane. Walking Could out you... of, like, a store. Then again, I guess, you know, someone has to do the crazy thing so everyone else That's looks true. normal. That's true. That's true. But, oh I don't know. I, she seems like a nice girl. I don't know her. No. Personally. Never had lunch. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not, Never like, had lunch with hanging me. out every Tuesday. Yeah. I guess I have right. to give her the benefit of the yeah. doubt. All right, so we're going to take another quick break, but coming up, we're going to talk to one of the executive producers from Quinnipiac tonight, so stay tuned. I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken with cheese for just over $4, giant cheesesteak subs, and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. Q cash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney here at Ray and Mike's. Welcome back. Do you remember going to the involvement fair as a freshman? I do. It was crazy. It was crazy. All right. Well, Tammy went and checked out the involvement fair this year. So let's see what happened. When students come to Quinnipiac University, they try to join clubs as many as they can to make new friends, gain experiences, and basically enjoy their college experience. But you don't have to join the typical student government, uh, student planning board. There are other clubs that you would not expect to be on a college campus. Tell okay. me a little bit about your club. <laughs> um, we're uh, Quinnipiac University Criminal Justice Club. Uh, we're brand new for the year. Um, we have all kinds of plans. Uh, lots what would you do at a meeting? At a meeting, uh, well first we have to pick our, our club officers. We're brand new, starting from scratch. But uh, later on down the line, I'm looking to have lots of uh, speakers. We're partners with the campus public safety, so uh, we have access to guys who are canine officers, state police, local police, uh, FBI, all coming from great backgrounds to speak and just give us an idea of what it's like to be in the field. Oh, the anime club, we're a pretty diverse club. We're not solely anime, we're kind of like everything nerdy. We got comics, we got cartoons. We got anime, of course. We got manga. We're, we're pretty much all kind of nerd things. That's that's our big thing. What does a typical meeting look like? A typical meeting starts with screaming because <laughs> everybody's excited. Because we usually watch an anime, we vote for an anime to watch the next week. We talk about some of the events we're doing. We talk about our convention that we're running, that we run every year. We get try to get some logistical stuff out of the way and then we sit down and we watch anime usually for a couple hours. All right, so tell me a little bit about the Sign Language Club. The Sign Language Club is, it just got started by me and my friend and we were both interested in learning sign language. We've learned a little bit in the past, so we wanted to like learn more and just connect with other students. Um, it meets once a week and we're working on getting a parent of the school to death like down the street and having a tutor come in and actually teach classes with us. Okay, so what would a typical meeting look like? Um, we'll normally come in and we'll start with the basics and then from there we'll go from like animals. Each meeting we typically do like categories and we just learn as much as we can each category and do like tests and quizzes and it's normally, right now it's student run and we're working towards getting tutors to come in to teach it. We talked to some freshmen to see what types of clubs they wanted to join. So what brings you to the involvement fair today? Uh, so I'm a freshman here at Quinnipiac. Uh, I'm looking to get involved, meet new people, uh, have fun, obviously. Um, so that's why I'm here, try to get involved. What clubs have you signed up for so far? Nursing, the Student Nursing Association, uh, the Pre-Physical Therapy, Sign Language, uh, the Global Community ones, those type of things. Relay for Life. Yes. Relay for Life. Appreciate <laughs> that. Were you involved in high school? Yeah, lacrosse team. Yeah, we actually went to school together and we both played lacrosse. We were in like student council, all things like that. So it'd be good to continue here. Have you joined any clubs yet? Um, I signed up for a couple of things, but not really joined. You know, like I just, 
I want to see what I'm like shopping. So, because I don't want to join a lot of things at once. And I want to see what I'm interested in first before I decide what I actually want to decide on. Like, the, like top three. Whether you're interested in anime club or a sign language, there's definitely a club for you if you just look hard enough at the involvement fair or by going to Do You Q You online. Back to you guys. All right, well, known for her segments as Kara's Corners, previously in TMA, our next guest is one of the co-executive producers for the popular Q30 show, Quinnipiac Tonight. Welcome, Kara and Echo. Thanks, guys. That was a really great intro. <laughs> Rarely. You really boosted my ego right there. <laughs> I'm up here now. It was yeah, like well, here. You know, so we go. Yeah. Boost your ego. I'm feeling really popular right now. make your morning. Um, so do you want to tell us a little bit about Quinnipiac Tonight? I would love to, Kelly. Quinnipiac Tonight <laughs> is basically uh, QU's SNL type show. So um, this year we are doing, we're making a few changes. Last year we made a change to have rotating hosts. Um, and we're going to keep that this year. But... In addition to having a different host every week, we're also going to implement a cast of um, players or characters, if you that's will. Cool. That's really and, cool. And um, so we can even make it more like SNL than it was before. Well, that's cool. So is there one particular host that is going to be starting out, or is it just going to be like a rotation of people? We'll have a different one each week. Okay. Well, that's keeping cool. things fresh. Yeah. No, we love that. We love the, you know, the fresh. Mm -hmm. um, so the skits are going to be intermingled. Is it going to be um, live skits, pre-tape? Like, how are you guys doing that? It'll be a whole combination of them. Okay. So we like to do um, keeping kind of with our roots was like we go out and mess with people. Mm -hmm. And we did that actually at the involvement fair. We created a fake club. So get ready for that segment when our first <laughs> show airs in a couple weeks here. But um, so we're going to kind of do a, staying with that stuff. And then we're also going to move into more, you know, um, uh, scripted skits and that kind of pre-tape stuff and then we'll also have live games and stuff that we do as well so it'll be a whole mix of different things well that's cool this has been such a popular show on campus it's nice to see like the evolution of like yeah. where it's been like where it's going yeah um, so what are you most looking forward to I think I'm most looking forward to seeing how our new cast kind of what they bring to the show because it's definitely going to add a lot more energy to the show I think um, it has been interesting to see how it's kind of evolved yeah. from a late night talk show now into like a sketch comedy show, which has been really interesting, especially because I've been with it since the beginning. So it's been cool to ride that roller coaster. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think I'm mostly excited for the cast to come in and see what they contribute to the show because we have a ton of great comedians actually auditioning tonight. So we get to choose that and we'll have that set by tomorrow. So I'm very excited to see who they are and what they bring to the table. Yeah, that's very that's exciting. exciting. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, so is this still going to have a live audience and everything? Of course. The live audience is like the foundation of our <laughs> show. <laughs> Without the li it's like my favorite thing ever at Quinnipiac is when we're, we've set up for the show, there's a ton of audience members in there, the energy is great, everybody's excited, and it's, it's almost like, like, did anyone do theater in high school or like yeah, been in a, a show? Bit, yeah, you know, yeah. like right before you go right, on stage, yeah. you're like, oh, it's so exciting. That's how it is. And I love, love that aspect of the show. That's so cool. You're like intermingling, like, you know, mm -hmm. the theater, but also like the show. And I think it's cool. Yeah, I absolutely love it. So where do you guys tape since the live audience is it? We tape right out in the piazza. Okay, and anyone's and we welcome have to come, right? Anyone. Anyone on campus can come and watch it. It's honestly, it's a great show. It's about 45 minutes out of your day. And you come, you laugh. <laughs> and you it's don't bi cry. It's bi-weekly, right? Bi-weekly. Bi so every other Thursday. Okay, perfect. Well, it takes a long time. We're excited to, to see what happens with the show this year. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. I can't yeah. wait to go to the Everybody should come out. Audience. Our first show is September 17th, so perfect. at 9.30 in the Piazza. So We'll be there. Mark your calendars. <laughs> come hang with Kara. <laughs> I'm a good time. You are a good time. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching the first episode of the semester. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and visit us at Q30. Have a great week, everyone.